Some more numbers for you, Monique. It has been 11 days since the state expanded who can apply for unemployment benefits to include part-time workers, certain gig workers, and people who are self-employed. But many of those folks haven't received a dime. Cairo 7's Lindsay Sheldon is at the live desk for us. Lindsay, this was part of the federal stimulus program. It was designed to get money to these laid-off workers quickly. It was, Steve's, but some haven't gotten that money or the stimulus checks. And other workers who qualify under the regular rules for unemployment say they haven't gotten their money either. It has prompted hundreds of them to form their own Facebook support group, sharing tips and suggestions on how to get through to the state. It's been a struggle. Yeah, I just, I have, uh, like I said, I have my little guy here at home with me and um, looking at him and, and wondering what the future holds for us. It can be a little bit scary. Katie Lodge is a mom of three, including four-year-old Jack, as well as a nursing student. She worked on campus and also taught yoga until the governor issued a stay-at-home order. So she immediately applied for unemployment benefits. I was denied. Um, which I knew would happen, and invited to apply for the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, or PUA. That's the federal stimulus benefits extending to part-time workers. The state unemployment website started allowing applications on April 18th. Since then, there has been no activity, no communication. Lodge is used to problem solving. She studied avionics and worked on fighter jets in the Marine Corps for five years. So she called the state dozens of times, but... Each time I call, I'm hearing the same recorded messages, which um, essentially say we're very sorry, we're experiencing a high volume of calls, and goodbye. She and more than 700 others have joined this Facebook group, passing on tips and advice. It includes Joe Allen. He works in car sales and had just recently moved to a new company before being laid off due to the pandemic. It's going on seven weeks now. Seven weeks of waiting for your unemployment benefits. Yep. And... You know, you try to call in and you have to call 300 times before you get through. Sometimes you get through, you're on hold for four hours and it'll disconnect you. Allen says he was last able to reach someone a month ago. Back then, they told him to be patient. Nick Damaris with the Employment Security Department says each case is unique. But he suggests that people like Katie ensure that they are filing weekly claims, checking their email spam filter, and looking for alerts on their account. She says she's done all that. Every day, we are resolving thousands of these issues uh, one way or another, and people are getting paid. And that's thousands of people who don't have to call the claim center anymore. And so they don't have to compete for those limited phone spots. I also asked the ESD about Joe Allen's situation. He started that new job and then was laid off. They said that is a problem they are working on to see if they can clear out a bunch of cases like Joe's all at once. And we'll be asking more questions and bringing you answers when the ESD holds a news conference tomorrow. At the live desk, I'm Lindsay Sheldon, Cairo 7 News.